Create Human Connections with Artificial Intelligence, presented by DTM Kajetan Barato. He is a certified trainer, public speaker, behavior assessor, and a passionate Toastmaster. I'm going to talk today about creating human connections with artificial intelligence. But first of all, doesn't that seem like a contradiction? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the words artificial intelligence or AI as we call it? Is there anyone in the audience who feels a sense of apprehension that AI is going to change the way we live and work? That AI will take away our jobs? About a week ago, I sat down to create a short video. The objective of my video is very simple. Make a fun Toastmaster related video, but using the characters from my favorite movie, Lord of the Rings by Peter Jackson. Anybody heard of it? I wanted to create this video using only AI tools. How did I do? To achieve my objectives, I had to use four different AI tools. The first one that I used, I'm sure everyone in the audience is familiar with because everyone is talking about it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Chat GPT. Raise your hands if you have used Chat GPT in the last few days at least. You have used? Great. Chat GPT has taken the world by storm. Why? Because it gives us human-like conversations, unlike Google. So I logged into ChatGPT and I asked it a very simple question. Give me 10 characters from the movie Lord of the Rings. And without hesitation, it started giving me the response. But the interesting thing about ChatGPT is it, is it doesn't stop once you get the response. You can keep talking to it like a human being. So my next question to ChatGPT was, imagine you are a fashion designer for a famous Paris fashion house Balenciaga and you have 20 years experience as a fashion designer. Dress up all these 10 characters that you just listed for me as though they are taking part in a 1990s fashion show. It thought for a second and started giving me the responses. One of the characters, for example, is Gandalf, who I love. And according to ChatGPT, Gandalf should be dressed in a long gray wool coat with a black velvet collar, paired with black trousers and black boots. What kind of jobs do you think ChatGPT is going to threaten in the near future? Everything. Interesting. Writing. Fashion designing. Right? Maybe even consultants. Even as we speak, the Hollywood Writers Association is right now on strike. And one of their key fear is producers will outsource all the writing jobs to chat GPT or other AI tools like this. The second AI tool that I used creates images from anything that you type. The tool that I used is called Mid Journey. I went to Mid Journey and I copied and the script that was given to me by ChatGPT. And I pasted it and I said, for Gandalf, show me or create me an image which was given to me by ChatGPT. And within a few seconds, it gave me that image. Gandalf. And I did this exercise for all the characters. And I must say, I was stunned with the results. These are all AI generated images. Just to have a little fun, I said, create me an image of a young boy with his father in the desert at sunset with their falcon. Very complicated query. It created the image for me. How good can this type of tool get? Look at this image. This is a cover magazine of Vogue in March. There is no such person. This is completely generated by AI. What kind of jobs do you think are being threatened by this? Models, photographers, editors, 
The third tool that I use to create my video clip has the potential to create the most harm if used unethically. And that tool is voice cloning. The way it works is you sample any audio. Gandalf, the character that I created, is played by the impeccable Ian McKellen. So I went to YouTube, I searched for Ian McKellen, I found one interview of his, and I took an audio clip. Peter Jackson, the director, is very media savvy. So that's the audio clip. I took that audio clip and I put it in this third AI tool called Leaven Labs. And I made that AI tool say these words as though they are being said by Ian McKellen. You must go to Mordor and win the World Championship of Public Speaking. Imagine the potential or the harm. You might be talking to your friends or your family, thinking they are your friends and family, but on the other side of the phone is a scammer using this tool and trying to extort money from you. Could be the district director. Could be the district director asking you to come and give a speech, but actually it is not. The final tool that I used takes any image, takes any audio, and then creates a video clip. I did this for all the 10 characters and I created my audio video. I won't bore you with watching the whole video. It's on my YouTube channel, Tech for Toastmasters. Go and check it there. But what's the call for action here? We can see different AI technologies here, all capable of doing things that humans can do, which means we need to be aware about it. We need to up upgrade our skills so that one day we don't go to the office and find that an AI is doing our job. But if there is one AI tool that is not meant to replace our jobs, but to really complement our communication skills, create the human connections. And the one that I'm really passionate about and excited about, also similar to this, is a tool called Udly. Now, Udly, just like those four tools that I've explained, but the purpose here is it is like a personalized speech coach that is always by your side giving you feedback, judgment-free. These are the four features of Udly that can help you to build your communication skills. The first is it helps us to overcome the fear of public speaking. Why do we fear public speaking? Why do we fear coming on a stage and talking to a large audience? Mostly because we think they'll forget what we have to say, we'll fumble our words, and we'll make a fool of ourselves. And it happens because we don't get enough opportunities to practice. When you have a speech to deliver or a presentation to deliver at your company, you might practice in front of the mirror. But the mirror doesn't talk back. It doesn't tell you whether you're doing something good or bad. You could, of course, talk to your friends or family if they're available. Or the preferable method is to join a Toastmaster club and practice in a Toastmaster club. But Toastmasters meet maybe twice a month. But if you have a speech tomorrow to deliver, then this is probably where you could make use of Udly because you could just open it up and start talking and then it will give you feedback. It has a very interesting feature called transcript, which is useful for people like us where English is not our first language. We might be speaking Hindi, Arabic. So what happens when we start talking to a global audience, they may not understand what we are saying. And what Udly does is it listens to what you are saying, the spoken word, and it converts it into a written word. And if it couldn't transcript correctly, you will then understand your words might not be understood by others. And then you could change the way you speak those words. It gives you real-time feedback. As you speak, in fact, there's a new feature in Udly where as you're speaking, let's say you are in a meeting, it will immediately tell you, hey, you're speaking too fast, or you're speaking too slow. 
You are speaking too long. Give others an opportunity to speak or you are using too many filler words. And finally, it has a two feature where it can rephrase your content. What do I mean by rephrase content? We usually know what we want to say, but most of the time we don't know how to say it, what words to use. So you speak to Udly, it will listen to you, it will transcribe your script, and then you'll say, why don't you say it in another way? Use different words to make it more effective and impactful. So I hope those of you who have not used Udly till now, go to Udly. If you are already a Toastmaster, it is already in your profile. When you go to Toastmasters, log into your profile, you scroll down, you'll find Udly. Click on it and start practicing. Start enhancing so that the next time you give your project at the club level, you have already made use of the AI tools to enhance your skills and to create those human connections. Now, do you think that it is possible to create human connections with AI? Especially with Udly? Why don't you try it? <laughs>